I was dressed up, ready to go out and dance, and it felt, it didn't feel real, to tell you the truth. I actually had to keep like kind of pinching myself, like this is real, you have to get out there and dance, you're not just watching this on TV. Um, it's been so exciting, I can honestly say it's like the coolest thing I've ever done. Now that we're that I'm here and we're starting to really get into these other dances, I'm I'm just learning so much about myself. I'm not even sure what I'm capable of with dancing in the first place. Like there's certain moves that I see other people do and I wonder, oh, I wonder if I can do that. And then we play around and I realize, oh, I can totally do that. So it's really exciting just kind of discovering this this new part of myself and and, and just seeing you know, what kind of cool, fun things I can do. So I work with two different companies. One is a leg manufacturer, and the other one is the actual prosthetic shop. So the prosthetic shop fits the legs that the manufacturer makes. Um, but collectively, we're coming up with different feet that may work for the different dances that we do. Um, we're not sure yet, but it's, it's a matter of just kind of playing around with the different feet depending on what the dance requires. So if there's a barefoot dance and we want the foot to move a little bit more naturally, we may have to customize one of the feet you know, that, they, that they bring in to see if it will work for us. Dancing is such a creative process and that's what I'm, I'm loving about this. It's, like, it's just a way to express yourself. And, and instead of looking at my legs like, like they're hindering me from doing something, they may be more of like an accessory or something that could help us um, accomplish something. So we just want to get creative with the whole experience and and if the legs I'm wearing right now works for everything that's great but it's kind of exciting to think well what else could we do? What could we do that's different and what could we do that maybe would help other people in the future? Having prosthetic legs takes a lot of patience um, because you don't just kind of get your legs and go. You get your legs and you go through this huge process of, of getting them to fit right and getting them comfortable enough so that you can do the things you love. But I believe that if you're patient and if you work hard enough, that anything's possible. It's amazing to know that there's so many people watching and so many people who are supportive, but also kind of finding you know confidence within themselves by, by seeing what I'm out there doing. My main motivation is not to inspire the world. It's just to do what inspires me. And I think inspiration is contagious. And so it's amazing that by me doing something that I'm passionate about helps to inspire other people. I mean, you can ask for more. While Amy Purdy was shaking her money maker, all of America was shaking their heads, amazed that this astounding Paralympian is able to move like this on not one, but two prosthetic legs. You got a bronze medal at the Olympics, you got a gold medal in the Chacha <laughs> I have different legs for snowboarding, and then I've got walking legs, and my walking legs right now are my dancing legs. Walking, dancing, this bronze medal snowboarding champ makes it all look effortless, but her prosthetic limbs do come with limitations. The thing with prosthetic feet is you can't have all this crazy motion or you'd be all over the place because it's mechanical and it's outside of your body. After earning an impressive score of 24 last week, Purdy may have been an underdog coming into the competition, but no one considers her an underdog now. Is there anything that you're kind of uh, choreographing that is, is, is not possible because of the limitations of the prosthetic? I'm thinking ahead, there, there will be certain certain dances that we're gonna hit a few like little barriers. Right, right. But, you know, I kind of thrive on that kind of stuff. I like it. But all that fancy footwork comes with some unique risks. Look down at the bottle caps duct tape to her ankles. There's a lot of duct tape. There's oh. a lot That's of duct tape. That's amazing. Yeah, we're duct taping everything. A bottle cap. Now, what does yeah. that do? My legs come off with a push of a button and a lot of the dance moves, I smack my oh, legs together. No. So yeah, this is our makeshift fix. Also risky and maybe a little risque, Purdy's costume last week. For me, costumes are a really, really important part of the show. Derek's answer was, you know, I'm not even thinking about your legs. I'm thinking about what you would look great in. And not many people look good in these cha-cha pants, but you'd look amazing. So let's just go with that. We got a sneak peek at their swing dance. Expect to see some lifts in that same indomitable spirit. If you want something bad enough and you work hard enough, anything's possible. For Good Morning America, I'm Cameron Matheson, ABC News, Los Angeles. Go, Amy, go. I can watch her dance all day. Absolutely. It's so incredible. Be sure to tune into Dancing with the Stars tonight.